Uh, Mr. Rosbach? They're not composting. Again, Mr. Rosbeck, I would refer you back to why the Beam Avenue compost site was closed. And there's numerous court documentations with what transpired during that site. When We're it not was talking open. about that site. I understand that, sir. Okay, they're but not this composting. Is this is, if you don't, again, I provided you materials that you no. can read. Yeah, I did. And actually, one of the documents, your bioaerosol, uh, one that you gave chain. us, reaches the conclusion, says, thus in response to the question initially posed, and that question was, do bioaerosols associated with the operation of biosolids or solid waste composting facilities endanger the health and welfare of the general public and the environment? And the answer was, in response to the initially posed question, the participants at the workshop the answer that emerged was composting facilities do not pose any unique in, uh, endangerment to the health and welfare of the general public through the documentation that you provided us. But the thing is, they're not composting. They bring material on site, they chop it up, they haul it off. It doesn't decay. Thus, there's no composting. As soon as you drop off materials, regardless if, it, if it's wood chipping, as this document states, I, I guess I don't think you we're able to have an opportunity to read this thoroughly um, in its entirety. But as it specifically states, um, includes grass cl clippings, wood chips, food, household waste, uh, agriculture waste, sewage sludge. There's multiple descriptions of what composting is entailed. None, so of, none of which is what they're doing. They're dropping off logs and branches. Okay, within logs and branches, you also obtain Aspergillus fumigatus, which is a health risk. You also obtain Thermophilic actiomycetes, which is a health risk. You also obtain Altrium penicillium. There's multiple um, bioaerosols amongst not which, even Which it says in the report is not harmful fungi. to human health. I definitely disagree with you, Mr. Well, Rosbeck. It's your report. Mr. Rosbeck, there is so much detailed information regarding the health effects of individuals, hospitals, cancer facilities. Elizabeth, the report you gave us indicates there is no danger to health, and it says that the airborne concentrations of bioaerosols were, were not significantly different from background. And so this is the report you gave to us. Again, I would ask you to read the entire document. And there's not just this document. Again, I'm giving you a document that's gone from autumn 1994. And there's numerous other documents that are out there saying the health effects and risks <coughs> for human beings, hospitals, different cancer facilities, neighborhoods, citizens. And again, you got rid of one site, and if you want to bring another one in, and if you don't think that tree trimmings that are decaying or brush that's sitting there and rotting doesn't pose a health risk to the city of Maplewood, Mr. Rosbeck, I would seriously <coughs> ask you to do your research, because I have. Elizabeth, you have more tree debris within a quarter mile of your house than they ever pile at that site. And it's just laying there in the swamps, decaying. That creates the background which may produce the things that you're talking about. But according to the own inf your own information, the, the um, bioaerosols created through that <coughs> process or through the process that they might be using if there are any created would not be any more significant than the background that's already there madam mayor can i just sum mine up i wasn't able to sum it up yet oh, okay thank you Please, i appreciate that a couple minutes um again i would ask that um prior to you even considering um, 
making a motion to this, it would go back to the Environmental and Natural Resources Commission for their input and review since it was not done properly. So um, in addition to that, I would also um, again look into detailed research and again I provided you research from when they started it back in 1994. I did not provide to you updated science which specifically states how dangerous this is for wood chipping. It doesn't matter if it sits there for a day. It doesn't matter if it sits there for two hours. It's fermenting. It's airborne. It's a health risk to the public, period. And for your knowledge and your ignorance of passing this this evening, I think is an outrage to the community of Maplewood. And just because you have a couple of people that are sitting on different commissions and boards within the city of Maplewood, you haven't asked the seniors that have already been affected by this. So again, you were, it's what you knew, when you knew it, and what you did about it. Thank you. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, Mr. Tripler, I guess. I'm assuming the public is still able to come forward. My name is Dale Tripler. I recognized I you, sir. I live at 1201 Junction Avenue. Um, I could I could tell you all kinds of scientific stuff, but I would just ask you to use your common sense. We have had trees in Minnesota since the last glacier went through. I, my geology is bad, but I think it's like the Wisconsin glacier went through about 10,000 years ago. There's over 10 million acres of trees in the in the state of, of Minnesota not to mention all the trees in Wisconsin. If, if decaying wood chips or decaying wood was a problem, a health problem, we'd have people dying all over the state of Minnesota. Even in the metro area, we have trees all over the place that, you know, the, the limbs fall, they decay. People aren't dying from decaying wood. It's, it's a non-issue. I wish, I wish people were concerned about auto exhaust. I wish people were concerned about household cleaners. I wish people were concerned about smoking. There's some real health issues out there. This certainly is not one. If it had come before the Environmental Committee, I would have just said, we're, we're not gonna waste our time on a non-issue. This is, as far as I can tell, as much of a non-issue as I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> 